today I'm going to share with you my top favorite neutral lipstick colors. So this is like pinks and nudes and everything from lipsticks to lip glosses and lip liners. And if you like the makeup that I am wearing today, stay tuned till the very end where I will link you the video. So I'm going to start off with what I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. I'm wearing this uh, drugstore. This is Revlon Lip Butters. This is one of the newer lipstick that everybody is talking about. I am completely obsessed with this color creme brulee. It's just a perfect neutral color. They don't have like a huge collection of colors. However, um, this was the one that definitely stood out to me. It's actually perfect. It's really smooth. It's super moisturizing and it gives off a gorgeous shine. So you can just use this lipstick by itself. I don't think it needs any lip liner. I don't think it needs a gloss or anything. This is an awesome lipstick. My next favorite neutral color is L'Oreal Paris. This is in Ferris Nude and it's from their Color Rich collection. So this is one that's been around for a while. It's the perfect neutral pink color that you can wear every day or even if you have like a smoky eye and you want a soft pink color, this is it. I think it has a great sheen to it. It's not too glossy but at the same time it is moisturizing and it glides on real smooth. The one downside to this in my opinion is just the scent of it. It kind of smells like old school lipstick. So lipstick like the lipsticks my mom had back in the day um, but the color payoff I just think is amazing. Here's my so. next favorite neutral color lipstick. This is Max Creme de Nude lipstick and as you can see I use it a lot. You can tell on me it looks so nude. It's almost like Judy that is not one of your favorites but this one I have to wear with a lip liner because it is really opaque and it could kind of wash you out. This is a color that I turn to whenever I'm doing really dramatic on the eyes and I just want to be soft on the lips. It's the perfect like nude color. And there's something about the smell of MAC lipsticks that I just can't get enough of. It smells like sugar. Like My just... next favorite neutral is actually a matte color. This is from Makeup Forever. It's a Rouge Artist Intense in matte one. When you put it on, you could kind of tell that it's, it's not sticky, but it doesn't glide on as smooth, so you kind of have to really press it onto your lips. Although it is matte, it does not feel drying whatsoever. It lasts pretty long than the normal lipstick, so um, I do recommend this. It's definitely going to be one of the more expensive lipsticks, but it's worth it. I noticed that all the uh, Rouge Artist Intense lipsticks have kind of like a rosy scent. This is just such a beautiful, soft matte neutral color and yeah matte number one so definitely my go-to matte lipstick. Another favorite of mine is Whipped Caviar by NYX. This is one of their matte colors and I love the matte lipsticks because they are longer lasting than the typical lipstick. They're so high in pigmentation and this particular color is my favorite deep pink color. So it's nice to wear every day. It's not overly bold however you can tell that I'm wearing pink lipstick and it's just a fun flirty pink. And my last favorite neutral color lipstick is L'Oreal Infallible in the Linda Evangelista color. This is great if you want a long last lipstick. If you watch my videos, you know I'm almost obsessed with these lipsticks because they do not come off. So you are definitely going to need a oil based makeup remover to remove it. So once you put it on, you have to let it set for at least like 45 seconds. And you can tell when it's set because you can actually feel it on your lips. So whenever I do put it on, I don't want to just keep my lips like this. I actually kind of spread them out because I don't want it to dry in the cracks. So yeah, you just let it set for a few seconds. And you can feel on your lips when it's completely dry. See, it doesn't transfer. Ooh, there you go. It doesn't even transfer at all and this is why Benji loves it because I could kiss him all night long and it doesn't bother him. On the other side, this is actually the moisturizer or like the lip gloss. So you just put this on over it and it smells so good. It smells so fruity like candy. It's a great beige everyday color and I think if you are a brunette, um, it's beautiful for fall. My tip to you is to be sure to reapply the gloss throughout the day because if you don't and the gloss comes off, your lips are gonna chip. The lipstick's gonna kinda come off on ch in chunks. It's gonna be really weird. So make sure you reapply the lip gloss. And also don't forget to remove it with an oil-based makeup remover. Um, this one is one of my all-time favorites that I've had for quite a while. This is Boutique's lip liner and you can find these at Sally's Beauty Supply. And I like the color in natural. I like this one because it's almost like an ashy brown or an ashy neutral color rather than a lot of neutral or nude lip liners are usually almost in the orange side. So this one I like. Let me just put some creme de nude so you can see what it looks like together. I don't know. 
I love it. It just makes your lips look plumper when you have like a deep color um, lip liner. And my other favorite nude lip liner is NYX's. This is a retractable lip liner in, I think it's in nude. Yeah, in nude. This one will not rub off. You put this on your lips and it will stay on all night. This would go great with any of the pink lipsticks. And lastly, I'm gonna move on to lip gloss, which I just have two of my favorite pinky or neutral lip glosses. I'm gonna start off with my all-time favorite lip gloss. I actually haven't worn this in a while, but this is Max See-Through. And this is really opaque. And if you want nude lips, you're gonna want this. And this is great for um, when you're doing super smoky eyes. Look at that. Right, this one right here is Mally Beauties. It's called Just Heaven. Uh, this is like one of the retractable ones. So as you can see, it's beautiful, creamy, baby pink lips. Um, the ultimate Kim Kardashian lip gloss in, I think. Um, and it smells really good too. It has a nice, strong fragrance. So you'll know when it rubs off because you won't smell it anymore. And your lips just look instantly plumped and fat and juicy. However, it doesn't give you that tingling effect, which a lot of like lip plumpers so do. So that's basically it for my top favorite nude, neutral, pinky lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoy. Please comment below your favorite nude lipstick because I would love to try it. And go to my Facebook and let me know what kind of video you want to see next. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! If you want to see more videos, click the one on the left where I show you step by step how to create the makeup look I am wearing in this video. Or if you want to have a glimpse into my everyday life, check out my vlog, It's Judy's Life, where I do daily vlogs with my husband, Benji. And this one, I'm actually partying in Vegas. Oh yeah. Rouge Artist Intense Matte One. It's a rouge. Ah! Oh.